did 2020 kill the sport of triathlon? Today, it was canceled. USA Triathlon membership grew from 20,000 to over 170,000 from 2000 to 2013. But then from 2013 to 2019, it declined by over 25%, all while events like color runs and CrossFit games, Tough Mudder and Spartan races grew exponentially. And after triathlon numbers had dwindled, 2020 brought us a global pandemic, bringing triathlon participation numbers down to almost zero. Now, I didn't get to race during 2020, and maybe you didn't either, or maybe it's worse than that. Maybe you had planned on doing a full Ironman and you paid for it, and then the Ironman Corporation, you know, refused to give you any sort of refund. But either way, I think it's fair to say that as far as triathlon races go, uh, this year has sucked on so many different levels. And yeah, I know in the big scheme of things, Racing is such a small and petty little thing, but I would say what's not small or petty is that time that we get to spend with each other, that time that we get to do the things that we love most, you know, whether that's swimming, biking, or running. Um, and yes, I know that we've all been restricted this year when it comes to doing that also. Uh, we weren't able to run with our buddies. Uh, we weren't able to do that kind of standard Saturday group bike ride. Uh, and pools were closed for months during the pandemic. Some of them still are. But somehow you guys were able to make all of this stuff work. I'd say adversity brings out the most creative in all of us. And it seemed to me like as soon as we went into lockdown, I was getting really nice invitations to do uh, Zoom-based bike spin classes. Uh, I was able to join Zwift ride meetups with teammates and friends for some very hard rides. Uh, I had people that wanted to do socially distanced swimming with me in frigid open water lakes. Uh, you guys were determined. I would say that you guys are more than determined. You guys are relentless when it comes to these three sports. And it always seemed to me that the people that love this sport are always gonna be the best type of people for dealing with adverse conditions. I mean, if you think about it, uh, that's what makes triathlon special. And I think that if our sport wasn't hard, really none of us would be that interested in it. And for me personally, the race medals that I actually keep and that I actually cherish are from the races that were extremely difficult, whether that's extremely difficult to train for, uh, build up the endurance and actually complete, or the races that were excruciatingly painful and I really had to dig deep to go somewhere to actually get to that finish line. And I bet you guys are the same way. I think that the most interesting stories uh, that we might tell when we sit around and chat after a race are the ones where we kind of talk about the adversity, talk about the challenges that we overcame in the race. I almost never hear anyone sit around and talk about how uh, they went through that last part of the marathon and it was super easy and no sweat. They finished and got their race medal and went and hung it up. Great job. Uh, you hear about the hard stuff. That's what makes our sport interesting. That's what makes our sport even worth talking about. And I also think that's the thing that makes us wake up early every single day and get out there, whether it's rainy conditions or snowy conditions and swim or bike or run uh, and get our work done because we know it's supposed to be hard. We know it's supposed to be challenging. So was this challenging adverse year the year that killed the sport of triathlon? Personally, I believe that 2020 was the year that we really learned what we love most about our sport. I think it's the year that we truly learned what we love about swimming, what we love about biking, 
and or what we love about running. I feel so lucky that I got to witness people trying open water swimming for the very first time. These are people that swam in the pool for years, but had never gone out and done that open water swimming, but they did because they had to. I witnessed my wife doing a solo marathon on the day she would have been doing the Boston Marathon had it happened this year. I witnessed my pro triathlete buddy biking over the height of Mount Everest in elevation in a single day. So many people doing so many amazing things because they were not allowed to race. They craved the adversity, they craved those challenges, and they love swimming, biking, or running. So personally, you know, I don't think that 2020 has killed the sport of triathlon. Now, it might have put yet another dent in our overall numbers, uh, but my gut feeling is that the people that are leaving our sport are some of the people that really didn't truly love the swimming or the biking or the running. You know, maybe that they were just kind of in it for the race medals, or maybe they were the type of people that were just kind of looking for some sort of status symbol. They wanted to call themselves a triathlete or something like that. Uh, but I think that the people that we're gonna be left with going forward might be the people that really truly care most about these three sports. And they might be the best people to recruit to help us promote our sport in the future. And again, it is definitely not lost on me how petty this video is when it comes to, you know, really truly looking back on 2020. Um, there is, you know, no doubt at all that the coronavirus has affected every single person on the planet, really every country, every economy, every industry, uh, so many people sick, so many people that have lost their jobs, their life savings, uh, and, and so many people that have passed away this year. Triathlon, you know, seems like such a trivial thing um, amongst all of this, you know, as a backdrop. Uh, but for many of us, you know, this is how we choose to spend our valuable, you know, minutes, hours, and days. We get to swim with friends, we get to bike with colleagues, or we get to go run with our family. Uh, I still feel tremendously grateful to have been able to swim and bike and run in the year 2020. I got to do the sports that I love and I got to break out my camera equipment and I got to film a ton of it. So to every single one of you who are out here watching this video, for those of you who still care about triathlon, thank you. Thank you for making 2020 a wonderful year despite all the adversity and despite all of these challenges.